Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Nikon D3500 and Nikon D5300. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Nikon D3500 and the Nikon D5300 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 29th of August 2018 and the 12th of February 2014. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Nikon D3500. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Nikon D5300. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 9 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Nikon D3500 and the Nikon D5300. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Nikon D3500. And here are some sample photos from the Nikon D5300. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Nikon D3500. The Nikon D3500 is a great entry-level camera with a longer battery life and impressive ISO capabilities. The redesigned grip makes it easy to use, though the removal of remote photography is a downside. However, the SnapBridge app can be used as an alternative. Overall, it's a great option for portrait photography, especially when paired with the Nikkor AF-S 50mm f1.8 G lens. I was initially hesitant to use this camera as a non-photographer, but I found that the more I use it, the more I like it. Despite a rough start with manual settings, I've been able to improve my pictures, and the interface is great. This camera has everything I need and I enjoy experimenting and taking pictures with it. Here's what people have to say about the Nikon D5300. I had a great experience with the Nikon D5300. I was initially overwhelmed by the menus and options, but with some practice and experimentation, I found it to be user-friendly. The image quality is fantastic, and I was able to capture incredible detail and color in my photos. I also had success with action shots, and I'm looking forward to using it for sport. I have been using the Nikon D5300 for two months, and I am very pleased with it. The GPS and Wi-Fi functions are great, but they can drain the battery quickly. The camera performs well in low light, and the picture quality is wonderful. The only downsides are the lack of external buttons and the occasional blurriness in night shots. Overall, it's a lot of camera for the money, and I highly recommend it. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Nikon D3500 we will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. Nikon D5300, we will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10. 